Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have set number 75209. This is Han Solo's Land Speeder. was released in May 2018. It was released to coincide with the Solo movie. It was one of the smaller sets, uh, containing 343 pieces, two minifigures, and this thing which half counts. And it retailed for $29.99 in the United States. The entire set is, uh, you know, contained in this one build, really. Uh, like, the only thing that's meant to be kind of a separate thing is this Corellian Hound here, which, you know, is supposed to be basically chasing the, uh, the speeder. And this set does pair really, really, really well with, uh, the Moloch's Land Speeder, which I will be reviewing separately later, but... Uh, I did want to mention it in this review at least, and you know, they do look pretty good together, but obviously, you know, it's supposed to be able to create this little chase uh, kind of scene-ish, and I, I think that for that, you know, it, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I will get into full thoughts on, you know, having both sets at the same time later, but Back to looking at just the speeder itself. Um, first off, the color scheme is pretty cool. I actually really like the dark blue. It's very different for Star Wars. And, like, I don't know. I feel like this is one of the better looking uh, just individual smaller vehicles. I don't know. I really like the color on this. Uh, and it's got a very asymmetrical design. The build is very interesting. It's fun to put together. And... Yeah, I like the, the wing here, asymmetrical kind of, and the white striping. The one thing that is slightly imperfect, and, you know, it's not even that big a deal, but the white stripe doesn't quite connect here. There's not really an easy way to do that at all. So, you know, I'll kind of give it a pass, but, you know, I, I will admit that that right there is not perfect. But other than that, there's really nothing bad looking about this. This window piece here in dark blue is brand new and exclusive to this set still. Uh, you know, no other 2018 sets instead of having it. Also this piece here uh, is uh, brand new in dark blue and I believe that one has not been reused either. Uh, the kind of greebling detail on this side I think is, is pretty good. Uh, you know, looks respectable. Uh, and This is kind of the side where I don't know if it's designed to be exposed like that, or if some paneling got ripped off, I don't know. Uh, we'll never know, really, but it looks really, uh, really kind of striking. And, yeah, uh, I don't know, I really like the design of the wing and the whole hood here with the two little fans exposed. This hood can be removed easily. Uh, it's only attached uh, by these two studs here, and yeah, it's you know, it allows you to access the engine compartment. Uh, there is actually a area where you can store um, an extra shot for your spring-loaded shooters, which we'll look at in a second. I wish that they'd somehow been able to get rid of this one extra stud right there. Like, uh, I don't know what, what that piece is. I think it's part of a 2x2 two two corner plate. But if they'd been able to make that not there, uh, then you would have been able to fit in both of the spring-loaded shooter uh, missile pieces, I believe. And, I don't know, I would have liked that better, because then you wouldn't have had to store them uh, in their places. Which, uh, we'll take this out, and we'll end up putting it in there. Uh, but there's also a wrench stored in there. And that wrench is useful because you have an engine that is removable. And, you know, I think this looks pretty respectable for an engine. I don't know how I feel about the brown there, but other than that, you know, it looks respectable. Yeah, it uh, contains one of those printed fans. You know, if you were to put this on without the engine, you'd have a little gap there. But yeah, it just attaches with a jumper stud. And then there's also this uh, other uh, little detail in there of this green thing. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a coolant tank or something, but it, it does look pretty good for the inside of the speeder. Obviously, this brown doesn't feel like it's in place, but... I really appreciate the function that it gives you. And there's also a smaller uh, storage area there, which... Can you fit the wrench in there? I don't know. I never tried it. No, I think you can. Uh, 
yeah, it, uh, oh, okay, fits perfectly just like that. So yeah, that, there's a separate storage for the wrench, I guess. But yeah, um, uh, that's, that's cool to know, actually, I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't pay close enough attention. Uh, also, you've got some of the use of these 1x2 rounded plates, and the inside of the uh, speeder is actually all tan. Like, there's no random color sticking out. Uh, I guess there's a dark tan in the back, but obviously that fits the scheme. And I don't know, I really, they did a good job with this little interior section. Uh, it's got a printed console there, as well as this other printed thing in the center. And that is offset with jumpers to make it exactly in the middle. Uh, you've got this bucket handle to kind of represent the control yoke or steering. Yeah, it, it looks really good. I, I like the way it uh, came out. And it's pretty well finished as well. Uh, yeah, both figures can fit in there very comfortably. They can hold their little weapons. It's it's a good uh, good design there. Yeah, overall, I think that uh, the color scheme works really well here. There's no random colors sticking out. Uh, but there are two more little features here in the back, obviously, of these engines here, which look good. Maybe it would have been nice to get a little stud to put just in there. You know, uh, but there's this little crate here in the back, which is placed sideways, and you can pull that out and reveal the coaxium container, which is cool. And that can be removed, obviously, from this, so you can carry your coaxium around separately. Uh, but I like the little hiding spot there, and it looks good as well. And last but not least, on the bottom, you do have these spring loader shooters right here. Uh, it does have wheels, so it can be moved around pretty easily, and they don't have tires on them, so they have little friction so you can kind of uh, drift around corners and stuff, and do cool piloty things. And the spring loader shooters, if we load them up here, you'll notice that they do stick out the back, which is why I prefer to display this without any, but and why I would have liked extra space in there to store both of them. But if you do, uh, you know, have them on there, you just push them in towards the center and shoot them out, and it works perfectly. So, overall, a very well done vehicle, I think. Both of the figures included in this set are exclusive, and, you know, I, I appreciate that. However, uh, the Han Solo figure included in this set is not my favorite variant of him from Solo. I prefer the Kessel Run one, just because it's a little bit more iconic and feels more Han Solo-y. This is obviously based on his Corellia design, though, and for that, I think it's really well done. Uh, it looks great compared to that source material. Uh, again, I just would prefer to... You know, since this is probably the only Han Solo I'll get from the Solo movie, besides maybe the Mud Trooper one, uh, but, you know, I would have preferred to get the, uh, um, the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon version of him. So maybe, maybe I will someday, but we'll see. Uh, but the actual printing for his torso and legs are well done. I like the little, uh, holster down there on the legs. The legs are gunmetal gray, as are... Um, Kira's, they're both gunmetal gray. There's a lot of gunmetal gray on the Corellia figures, as we'll see when we get further into Moloch's Land Speeder in a later video. Uh, the detailing for Kira's torso is pretty well done as well. It's done on a flat silver torso with some good printing throughout. You know, it's, it's not bad. Uh, yeah. The legs for her, though. Would have been a little better if they were dual molded, uh, but you know, the back looks good. Uh, you get a little bit of the color imperfection just because of flat silver, but I don't mind that on this figure. I think it kind of helps with just the look overall. Han's uh, back printing has some good folds and creases, uh, good level of detail, and you know a little bit of dirt on there as well. Again, as is typical of the solo figures. I really like Han's new hairpiece. This is the first time I've gotten it. You can see both of their happy faces here. And if we remove Kira's, you can see just a little bit more of the eyebrows. And Kira's hairpiece is actually brand new and currently exclusive to this set, even though Kira appears in another. She has a different hairstyle. And, you know, I'm happy with that new mold. I think it looks good compared to this scene in the movie. I don't, I don't know if it's perfect, but it works pretty well, I don't know. The bangs throw me off just a little bit. I think 
Maybe they're a little bit too far down. I don't know. Uh, it's not bad, though. I, I appreciate getting this new hairpiece. I hope they've used this in different settings as well, aside from just Star Wars. Uh, but they both have small blasters, and yeah, that's uh, it for these two. Obviously, we also have this Corellian Hound, and I really you know, appreciate the inclusion of this. It's kind of a minor thing from the movie, and it's not one of those cute things that'll be really marketable. So, you know, I, I don't think the inclusion was necessary, but I think it works well, to be honest. It's a very unconventional thing. You know, it's kind of like a dog. Uh, it's called a Corellian Hound, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, actual, uh, the actual mold of this is really well done. It's got the ridges down the top. Decently... Mm, well, or a decently intricate level of detail. It's got the little tail here. The legs are cool. I like how they're like uh, popped out of the body just a little bit if you look from a top view. And the fur detail around the mouth is well molded as well. And I like how they were able to print the eyes so well. Like they're molded outwards of the body and they still get printed there. So, you know, overall well uh, well molded and well printed little animal creature. I don't think it's a draw to the set, and I maybe would have preferred a minifigure in its place, I don't know, just some random Moloch guard, like maybe if this guy had been included or something, and, you know, just include another one. Like, basically, a Moloch gang member, I think, would have allowed for a little bit more conflict, because, let's be honest, how much can these little dogs do? But... You know, I'm, I'm happy to get it, and it's cool to get a new animal uh, for the Star Wars universe. Overall, I think this set is really, really well done. I'm a big fan of the Solo movie. It's one of my favorite Star Wars movies, if not my favorite. And, you know, this Corellia chase in particular scene was one of the best parts of the movie, I think. I don't know. Probably the best action sequence. And... I think that this is, or this vehicle is done justice in LEGO form. I don't know, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. And, you know, I, I don't know if I want to say this for certain in this video, but I think this is probably my favorite Star Wars set that I've ever owned. And, you know, that's, that's uh, pretty, pretty high praise there. So, you know, take that for what you will. Um... Maybe if you didn't like Solo, you're not going to care for this. I don't know, maybe you don't care for the design. But I do feel like this is a really, really good set. And I'm glad I was able to pick it up. I would definitely recommend uh, to anyone who enjoyed Solo, I think you'll like this set. So, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys all next time. Also, let me what you or let me know what you guys thought of the Solo movie. And, you know, if it's if it's good, if it's bad, if it's just, or maybe if you've never seen it, which if you've never seen it, I would also recommend uh, seeing the Solo movie. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. There will be a Amazon link in the description, which, you know, if you click on it and buy this, then I get money. So if you want to support the channel and you want this set, you know, click the link and then you'll do both. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.